I know this person very well. He may not know that I know him. Mm. That's number one. Number two, <laughs> yeah. I also have practically stayed closer to him in London when we were now both on the side, the other side of the coin. Mm. And he is a man who is very down to earth. Like his father, Raila is a traditionalist. Mm -hmm. He has the Luo culture in him, whereby this kind of, this era of modernization, of logic of modernization, of behaving like white person, what have you, Raila is not there. But however, however, he's surrounded by people who have let him down. Mm. He's surrounded by people who are actually milking him, mm. people who are like ticks, <laughs> who may not give room to others yes. too. Yes. That's what informs you as to why some of us had to form political parties. Mm -hmm. We tried to join the ODM, but those around Raila pushed us aside. Mm -hmm. Raila cannot see that deficit. He's carrying a baggage around him that will drive voters away. Mm. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. And I think um, the picture is on the screen. is a call to Secretary General Francis Tatuoli uh, making his way um, into the Kasarani Stadium, a key proponent of uh, Raila Odinga presidency um, and the BBI uh, that the president said the other day. Um, what didn't happen? will happen and we'll talk about that in a bit but that is francis um Atuali. but the person of raila odinga um uh, 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 uh Kena Mondi, mm -hmm. looking into his political life uh, particularly what does it say <coughs> i think the person of raila odinga mm -hmm. uh, as a uh, prof has uh, correctly put it you see uh, an individual that from the word go has stood out and has been uh, consistent in amongst others standing for uh, reforms mm -hmm. uh, he is the embodiment of change in uh, Kenya uh, I think it goes without question that this was one of the key uh, proponents of uh, the multi-party uh, system of government of course after that he was also a key uh, proponent in terms of the uh, fight for constitutional change which uh, uh, ultimately you know accrued when we had the 2010 constitution which brought quite a number of uh, uh, radical changes principle of which is uh, devolution and of course the anchoring of the human rights mm. within our uh, constitution as it stands and which is acclaimed worldwide as one of the most progressive constitutions in the world mm -hmm. so that if you look at Raila Odinga along that line then you know you see an individual that has stood for and that represents where the country ought to be uh, as it were and I'm saying this in the context of you know where we are right now as a country where we really need to